Welcome to the Northern Sami Study Blog. My name is Christian. My name is Anna. In this vlog series, we're going to share our Northern Sami studying progress on our online Northern Sami class, which is from Finnish to Northern Sami. So first, let's uh, introduce ourselves, uh, who we are and why we learn Northern Sami. So you can start. So, I'm Anna, as I'm already told, uh, have told you. Uh, I'm from Ukraine and my native language is Russian and Ukrainian, of course. <coughs> and, well, my hobby is just learn languages and the smaller language, the better. That's why when Christian uh, suggested study Northern Sami, I said, yeah, it's a small language, I'm gonna study it it's something rare and exotic <coughs> so i was just in what about you christian yeah for me it's that i already speak uh, the two official languages of finland which is my um, native country i'm finnish so my mother tongue is finnish i had uh, learned swedish at school and now i wondered maybe maybe i'll add one of the three Sami languages, which uh, which are spoken in Finland, and I decided to concentrate on the biggest one, which is also spoken in Sweden and Norway. So this is Northern Sami, and I I think was it you or me who found the you, course? You course. Found it. Yeah, so I I found it from. An adult education center. It was only thirty-two euros, which is not bad. Yeah, not cheap. Yeah, and also I noticed there are not too many materials for English speakers on YouTube about Northern Sami. Mm -hmm. And as far as what I know, there are mainly Northern Sami classes for Finnish, Swedish, or Norwegian speakers. Maybe maybe very limited for Russian speakers as well, maybe. Yeah. But mostly uh, um, Finnish, Swedish, Norwegian speakers, but almost nothing for English speakers. And um, that's why I decided to create this vlog series. And after each class, just share what we learned and after this class is over I think I'm going to continue on the next one which um, starts in December and what about you? You're, you're not still sure? I'm not still sure because it was only one class it has gone and yeah yeah and we still have uh, 11 and we still have 11 and let's see how much time I'm gonna have and how much motivation I'm gonna have so I don't know still yeah and and you just learned Finnish I mean you started learning Finnish three years ago no or five years ago five years I've ago, been living yeah. in Finland for three years yeah 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 so from that perspective is it hard for a foreigner attend to like Finnish course fin northern Sami course from Finnish I guess for a common person who is not into languages that much, it would be hard because you need to concentrate in Finnish and also make all the parallels with the Finnish language. <laughs> yeah, it's not when it's not your native language, it might be a bit um, challenging. But okay, for me it's not that difficult because I've been living here for three years. I speak Finnish every day everyday life and sometimes I forget my native language and I start speaking to my friends in Finnish that don't know Finnish so for me it's the usual thing yeah okay um, so maybe first we go through what we learned on the first class yeah so what did you what did you learn on the first class well uh, the first class was more kind of informative about the language not we didn't learn the language itself yeah it, it was like an introduction yeah we we had to inter introduce ourselves there were uh, 11 11 11 students and the teacher 
and after the introductions the teacher gave us information general information about the Sami languages and after that about the material so maybe we go through about the yeah. like some basic stuff about the Sami languages and in the end the materials so what did you know about Sami languages before like coming to Finland I mean you're a linguist so. <laughs> well shame on me but before coming to Finland I hadn't known anything about the Sami languages <laughs> and okay I didn't even hadn't even known that there are many of them I think actually not many Finnish people know that there are many like there are nine Sami languages and it's not just one language I think yeah. I think myself even uh, I think maybe five six years ago I, I didn't know that much about the Sami languages I uh, yeah in some point I, I also thought that there just, there's just one Sami language I have to admit <laughs> <Aha>. <laughs> but in, in K you know uh, instead there are nine Sami languages uh, okay two of them are on the verge of extinction mm -hmm. in Russia uh, which are Ter and Kildin Sami uh, the biggest one which we are studying is Northern Sami it's spoken in Northern Finland Sweden and Norway and in Finland we have also Inari Sami and Skol Sami Inari Sami is only spoken in Finland. Skold Sami is also spoken in, in Russia a little bit. And can you re remember the remaining ones? I remember the dead one because uh, it Akala. was Akala. Uh, yeah, because yeah. I'm the expert on the dead languages. <laughs> yeah. So the four remaining ones, can you um, remember? Was it Ume? Ume Sami, yeah. Ume Sami. Uh, I don't remember the rest. So, uh, if we start from the south, so southern Sami, um, which I think has the second most speakers, at, at least the region where it's spoken is quite big, mm -hmm. like uh, very big. Um, after southern Sami, if you go to the north, uh, okay, I can't remember the uh, the order, but you maybe I'll put. A map about the languages so uh, Lula Same, Pite Same, Ume Same, Sami. So those are the nine Sami languages. And what else can we? Mo most, yeah, maybe about the written language. Most of the Sami languages didn't have a written form until until the maybe eight eighties. <laughs> Late. Yeah, and some of them have got maybe in the past ten years. So it it doesn't have that long written history. Mm. Probably that's why I hadn't been interested in it before. What else can we tell about? Uh, so we told about the varieties where they're spoken. Yeah, Sweden, Russia, Norway, Finland. Yeah, where can we learn them actually? Is it so widespread? Yeah, so for English speakers, uh, I Google a little bit and it seems really hard finding anything for English speakers. For Finnish, Swedish, and Norwegian speakers, there are a lot, a lot of courses and material books textbooks uh, classes um, and I think I'm going to make a list on the description about all the materials so if you if you speak Finnish Swedish or no, no, Norwegian I think you have a good chance of finding an on online class like we have now there are like what's 
What's what's it called when it's not online class? Real life? Face? <laughs> yeah, face to face class. Fa yeah, if if you don't have any face to, f if you cannot attend face to face classes, I mean, if you don't live in in the Nordic countries, um, there are definitely courses for you. Yeah, you just need to pay. Yeah, did we already mention the the price about? It? Yeah, it was thirty two euros. Yeah, thirty two euros and. Um, if you if you're an university student in Finland, uh, you can take for free Islamic classes. If you're in Helsinki, Rovaniemi, or Oulu University, and also there is one uh, free class organized by I can't remember now, but it's, it's the Sami cultural uh, center, what? cultural center, something like I don't remember the name, but I'm going to put it. On the description they had a free one-year class but I mean they they picked the students yeah I didn't know I, I had to write such a great uh, application actually that they would choose the students according to the applications so we we, we, we applied but we didn't get get in because we just tr thought it, it's just the reg registration that we will automatically get in but yeah but it seems that they had quite a lot of students applying there and probably that's why they needed to be selected yeah and in the end i have to show what i'm using so i'm using the ultimate language notebook uh, you can use it for any language because on the left side you have these uh, lists of different topics. There are in total 72 topics. So there are these uh, phrases or words and you just have to fill the blank, blank spots here. And the other page is just empty. You can, you can add vocabulary that's important to you like i've done on the first chapter greetings so i just found some online material and used my book and i wrote the stuff that's important to me so this is what i i use it's actually my own book i have to say <laughs> your own child yeah i i created it like a two no three years ago yeah so and later i'm going to publish like the ultimate northern sami book i have from this product another product line where i have already the answers in a given language uh there are no blank spaces in the left page so i have the ultimate finnish swedish Estonian. okay i have 19 languages currently and in the future, I'm going to have ultimate Northern Sami notebook as well. So, yeah, that's going to be like this. But you can find all the essential phrases and words from North English to Northern Sami. And then you have the other page, with, which is empty, where you can add some, some vocabulary that's relevant for you. Yeah, according yeah. to your own level. And I must add that all those notebooks are translated by professional translators, so they're quite a quality product. Yeah, not, not by me. <laughs> I just designed them, but I use professionals like, like my wife. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, let's see on the next episode, which is going to be episode number one, because this one is the introduction, the intro. Was yeah. Northern Sami. So see you next time. Keep tuned.